Hello, and welcome back to another Yoga Flow on Move with Brie. Thank you for joining me on this road tour. Today we're in Nevada. We're going to start your yoga practice on your mat. Take a deep inhale to reach your arms up over the head. And as you exhale, draw the thumbs down to the third eye. Clear vision. Down to the heart compassion in all of our actions. We'll slide the palms forward to come into a child's pose, letting the forehead drop down to the ground. Feel the stretch of the low back. Feel the release of the jaw and the neck. As you push into your hands, we'll rise into a tabletop position for cat-cow, beginning to move your spine every time you inhale. Arch the back and lift the chin. And every time you exhale, round the spine again, feeling the stretch of the back body. Inhale, arch the back. And exhale, round, hollowing out the front side of the body. This time as you come back to a neutral spine, we'll tuck the toes under and hover the knees over the mat. So now you're in a tabletop inches above the floor with the shins. Engage the core muscles, take a deep breath in through your nose. Walk the hands forward, and then as you exhale, lift the hips up high for downward facing dog. We'll start to pedal out the feet by bending one knee and bending the other knee. Feel the stretch in the backs of your legs, the hamstrings, maybe the calves, even the soles of the feet. And now we'll find stillness in down dog, pressing both heels down. Lifting the right leg high, we'll bring that knee forward to step the foot between the palms and rise into your high crescent lunge. When you get into the lunge, feel the power of the feet here pushing down against the floor. That left heel is stacked over the toes, so it's lifted up high. Now really engage the quad muscles, have a sense of hugging the head of the femur bone back into the hip socket. And now releasing the arms to a T, you'll turn your chest towards the right, reaching the left arm forward and the right arm back. If you wanna take it a step further, you'll slide the right hand down the back leg, lift the left hand up high, maybe even look up towards that left thumb. Inhale. And as you exhale, we'll bring both arms back up, set the back heel down for warrior two. Look over the right fingers in your warrior two. Once again, feeling the power of the feet, strength of the legs. Continue to breathe deep through your nose here. And the next time you inhale, reach the arms up overhead and we'll turn that warrior two to the back of the mat. Now looking over the left fingers as the left knee bends. Inhale back up to center, quarter turn your left foot, quarter turn your right foot for warrior two to the front. And this time we'll bring the hands down to frame the right foot and step back. You're gonna lift the right leg high, take an inhale through the nose, and you might choose to keep it lifted as you move forward into your chaturanga. On your inhale, both feet come down as you take upward facing dog. And as you exhale, both heels push down as the hips lift high, downward facing dog for the other side. Inhale, lift the left leg. And as you exhale, step that left foot between the palms and rise. As you hold your crescent lunge on this side, feel the engagement of the core, belly button drawing back towards the spine, lengthen the low spine, Create more space between the bottom back ribs and the crest of your hip bones. And then making that twist, we'll reach the left arm back, right arm forward. If you want to take it that extra step, you'll slide the left hand down the back leg. Not necessary, but an embellishment if you want to take it. Take a deep inhale, maybe look up towards the right thumb. And then as the left arm comes back up, we'll turn into warrior two, finding the balance on the feet, the strength of the abdominal muscles. Look over that left hand, feel your breath come in and out through the nose, nourishing the lungs and the body. As you inhale, we'll reach up through center and exhale to switch warrior two to the back. 
Looking over the right hand this time, find a sharp focus with the eyes. Inhale back to center and exhale to the front. Bring both hands down to frame that front foot and we'll step all the way back into three-legged dog. You might keep it lifted as you shift forward and lower down. As you inhale, both feet are down for up dog. And as you exhale, both hips lift up high and the heels push towards the ground. Again, inhale, lift the right leg and we're gonna step that foot between the palms once again for crescent lunge. Same flow, deep inhale. A little bit swifter, we'll turn into the twist. And if you're taking the extra step, go ahead and move in. Move into your warrior two and on your inhale, reach the arms up. Exhale, warrior two to the back. Inhale, back up. And as you exhale, warrior two to the front to land the palms. As you move into your three-legged dog, you might keep the leg lifted as you exhale to a chaturanga. Inhale to cobra or up dog and exhale back, downward facing dog, other side. Inhale to lift, left leg high. You'll step through as you breathe out and inhale up to a crescent lunge. Twist, turning the right hand forward, left arm back. And now move into your warrior two. Inhale up to center and exhale warrior two to the back, looking over the right hand. Inhale both arms up and exhale, land the palms to frame your front foot and take it all the way back to three-legged dog. Move forward and exhale to chaturanga, inhale to an up dog. Downward facing dog as you exhale. Inhale, lift the right leg, step it through, inhale to rise, crescent lunge. Turning into your twist, left arm goes forward, right arm back. And then exhale into your warrior two. Inhale, rise. Exhale, warrior two. This time an extra step, we're gonna move into a half moon at the back of the mat. And a couple of options with your half moon, you might choose to keep the right hand on the right hip for more balance. You might choose to put a tiny bend in the left knee. We're dismounting with a bend in the left knee for warrior two and inhaling up to center. Exhale, warrior two. And then as you cartwheel the hands down to the ground, move the right leg up and back, three-legged dog for chaturanga. Inhale to up dog, and exhale back, downward facing dog. Inhale to lift the left leg, and exhale to step it through. And you know where we're headed, inhale up to your crescent lunge, and exhale to your twist. Big breath in, exhale to warrior two. Inhale to rise, center, and exhale, warrior two to the back. Now moving into your half moon, left hand meets the left hip as you lift that left leg up. You might keep the left hand put or lift it up, big open wingspan. Deep breath in through the nose. Long, easy exhale. Rebend the right knee and land in your warrior two, rise up and then exhale, warrior two to the front to land the palms. As you inhale, swing that left leg up and back. And as you exhale, move into your version of chaturanga. Inhale to cobra or up dog, and downward facing dog as you exhale. This time we'll bend both knees and step or hop to the top of the mat, forward fold to halfway lift. Exhale, fold again. And then as you inhale, chair pose is where we'll meet. Good, deep inhale through the nose. Now you can stay in chair pose or have a little bit of fun here. You're gonna slowly bend the knees lower, maybe touch the bum to the mat and roll back, and then back up to your chair, inhale. Exhale, land the butt, roll back, lift the feet, and back up to your chair pose. And remember, you can stay in chair here too. Otherwise, one more time, roll back, roll forward and up, chair pose, inhale and all the way down as you exhale. You might use the hands for support if you need. This time we're gonna take it all the way up and back to plow pose. So you're gonna lift the feet up and overhead, try to touch the mat behind the head and place the hands on the low back for support. Now you can stay in plow pose or option two is gonna be to lift the feet up into your shoulder stand. If you're taking your shoulder stand, squeeze the legs together 
And I'll give you a third option here. If you wanna lower the left foot, you're gonna take it to the back right corner of the mat for a twist. Keep that opposite leg high. Then as you bring it up, we'll switch. Right leg goes to the back left corner of the mat. Left leg stays lifted upright, heel over hip. Good, and if you did take that twist, we will meet again in shoulder stand. No worries if you can't grasp that yet. Keep coming back to this practice and eventually you will level up to the next pose. Moving back into plow pose this time. If the knees can meet the mat, you'll take the knees down by the head. And we'll slowly roll the back down for fish pose. As you take your fish pose, you can have the feet on the ground or you can lift the feet up at a diagonal. But tip the chin up towards the sky. Take a deep inhale as you arch the back. And as you exhale, round the spine and bring the nose to the knees. As you inhale, move into a canoe, stretching the feet out. And then as you exhale, bend the knees and tuck, forehead, two thighs. Go back into your canoe, working the core here. And as you exhale, come back up to boat, knees meet the forehead. Inhale back to canoe, hold it. And exhale, knees meet the forehead. This time we'll hold boat pose. If you would like to keep the hands under the knees, you can have a little extra support here. Otherwise, reach the arms up towards the sky. Take one more inhale. And as you exhale, seated cannonball, dropping forehead to knees. Now we'll move on the mat here so that we can take our seated cobbler's pose with the soles of the feet together, knees open wide. No worries if there's a lot of tension in the hips here. You can always place pillows under the knees for more support. We'll take a deep inhale through the nose. And as you exhale, either stay upright or start to bend forward from the hips, folding over the legs. We're holding this one for a few breaths. So as you stay down in your cobbler's pose, feel the release of the hips and the low back. And now as you come back up, we'll stretch the legs out to the sides. Coming into your straddle, inhale, reach the arms up. And as you exhale, left hand reaches towards the right inner thigh, right arm reaches up and overhead, moving towards that left foot. Feel a stretch of the right ribs, and then we'll inhale back up to center to trade sides. This time right hand swings down to the left inner thigh. Left arm reaches up and overhead towards those right toes. Stretching the intercostal muscles of the left ribs. Big inhale, come back up to center. Good, now bringing the hands down to meet the feet. You can bend the knees here if you need to, remembering that the more you practice, the more your flexibility will increase. If you feel compelled to fold forward in this one, you can bring the chest as close to the ground as you'd like. And then on the inhale, we'll reach the arms back up. And as you exhale, bring the hands underneath the knees, bend the knees and bring the legs back together. Stretching the legs out in front of you, inhale to reach the arms up. And as you exhale, forward fold over the thighs. Drop the forehead down towards your knees. And same thing in this pose, if you want to bend the knees for a little bit of release in the hamstrings, go ahead and let the knees bend. You can even place pillows under the thighs here for more support in your fold. As you inhale, rise back up to your seat. And coming into a meditative seated position or a shavasana, we'll take a few breaths here. Feeling the connection to center feeling the stability in the body and mind and feeling the inner peace radiate outward. And the next time you inhale, reach the arms overhead, look up towards your thumbs. Once again, bring the thumbs down to meet the forehead for clear vision. 
thumbs to mouth, clear speech, and thumbs to heart center, clear action. And our practice with gratitude today, gratitude towards yourself for showing up and for this time to move and breathe deeper. It was my honor to guide you through practice today. Thank you so much for meeting me on the mat. I look forward to seeing you again next time. Namaste. Thank mm-hmm. you.